I was actually talking with him today, so that's uh, that's actually pretty neat. Uh, yeah, no, that's awesome, man. So you got it. Yeah, you're, you're good on your end. I'm good on my end. So basically, it's just going to be like this, man. You're going to broadcast it. I'm going to be here kind of talking about it. I'll even break things down. I have a little bit of experience with the, with the, with the fighting nice. game. Sweet. Good. So I could break yeah, it yeah. down here, and, and, and I, I, I can understand these guys on my end. That's no problem at all. So, yeah, we can show it. And, uh, dude, it's going to be a good time. Yeah, like that, that's perfect. Like you're, the, the way you're holding your camera, just facing it the other way, or whatever way you want to do it, that's perfect, man. I'm really, really excited yeah. for this. Cool, buddy. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, we definitely uh, appreciate you doing that. I think it's going to be, it'll be a fun kind of half hour, hour, or whatever. Whatever it is. Dream to see everyone. I mean, look, these personalities are, uh, they're big and they're vibrant and now, you know, <laughs> years and years of trash talk and thinking that you're a tough guy and yep. we're actually going to step into the ring and, and see what they're made out of. So Pete, I'm excited to see how it all unfolds. Tell me, tell me your predictions for each fight. You want to do it or no? Let's go. I want to hear it. Ready? Uh, ready? Ready? We're going to we're going to do a we're going to do a we're going to go Pistol Pete round. You ready? Dallas and Nick, go. So What? Sorry. Dallas and Nick. What? Dallas or Nick? Who's No, is it Yeah, Dallas and Nick. <laughs> I uh, I think my uh, audio is cutting out. Uh Dallas. Dallas. Jeremy or Tom? This is interesting. Oh boy, my heart says Tom, but my head says Jeremy. It's gonna be a tough. Jeremy's a tough guy, man. Jeremy's a tough yeah, guy. Yeah. Uh, Godfrey Enzo. This is interesting. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for an upset here and say that Enzo and his slick maneuvering <laughs> uh, outfoxes the young buck Godfrey. My friend, even though Godfrey's a very good friend of mine, I hate to admit it. I I kind of agree with you, man. I agree with you, dude. I agree with you. Uh, Maddie or Rockstar? This this one. I think Madeline is going to mop the floor with Rock. Dude, I would have put Maddie with Pike because she is an absolute monster. I would have put Maddie up against Pike and she could probably hold her own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, uh, she was a university level tennis player. Yep. And to get to that level of competition means that you know how to dedicate yourself to something and you know how to perform at a high level. 100%. Obviously, boxing and tennis are very different, but I just think that once you kind of reach or know how to reach that threshold as an athlete, um, you know, picking up another sport uh, probably is going to come easier to you in terms of the physicality and stuff like that. So that's yeah. why I just think uh, Maddie is... Uh, and, and to be honest, I think Maddie has the best-looking punches, best-looking form. She's... Fin I, honestly, I was... She was showing me day one to today, like, well, whatever, and holy crap, man. What an And her form is phenomenal. Nice. Phenomenal, well, there you man. Yeah, I mean, there you, you know, pick yeah. the, I, I'm sure that, you know, I mean, everyone's training really hard, for sure. Yeah. You know, everyone is definitely putting in the work, but, you know, someone who's attained the level of the success that she has had in sports in general, I think... Yeah, it's, I'm not surprised that she's picked it up in oh, yeah. a short time. Like, uh, amazing. Okay, Jose and Hamza. This is interesting. Honestly, I think this one's going to be your sleeper hit of the night. I really do. I think that they're both surprisingly evenly matched. Uh, I do think that Hamza might have put in some more work, so I'm going to go with my boy Hamza on this one. Really? Hey, I nice. Be, I think this could end up actually being fight of the night. I was I was gonna say I think I think neither one of them want to lose. I don't think Hamza wants to lose. I don't think he wants to get he doesn't want that L. He doesn't want to get embarrassed. So I think he's gonna put the work in. Uh, Jose seems all right though, man. It's this is gonna be tough. But yeah, I know Hamza has that heart. He doesn't want to lose. He doesn't want to get embarrassed. So that's yeah. that's heart, man. You can't you can't train for that. That's that's something you either have or you don't. Uh, Caleb and Mike, man. This one this one's interesting. <laughs> Two powerhouse pretty boys. They're shredded as all heck. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're coming in, both having served for their country in the military. I think, again, another very even fight. Michael is much taller than Caleb. Uh, but, jeez, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like Beast Mode Cowboy. I think Michael I might be a, too much of a pretty boy. Uh, for uh, I'm with you on this. I, I like Mike. He's a really good guy. I play Call of Duty with the guy. He's great, man. But yo, I, I keep it. I keep it. I keep it straight. And and yo, I think Caleb might have his number here. Which I, I'd hate to say that because I'd love to see Mike put him out. But I, you know, I, I just, facts are facts. I don't know. I think I think Caleb has the upper hand. Who knows? Who knows? Look, I'd I'd love to see a clean sweep from Big Brother Canada. But just as you said, I'm yeah. trying to be objective. Exactly. Placing money on a bet in Vegas. 
I love all these people as people, but you know, this is a sport and sport. There's a winner and a loser. hundred percent. My friend, uh, Adam and okay. Do we even have to ask this Adam and Josh? I, I think you might see a bit of a bloodbath. Let's just say <sighs> hospitals have been called. The bed has been reserved. <laughs> the ambulance will be on standby. Dude, I literally, I, I, talk, I, I brought this, I, I actually talk about this uh, fight thing a lot on the stream and we go through the fights and the matchups and I, I break them down and I talk about them. Um, man, I, I, I hope there's a stretch. Just, you know, just waiting at the side, just in case, man. Just, you know, a few medical you know, personnel, maybe like eight or nine of them just in case, uh, maybe 12 of them just waiting on the side with a couple of stretchers, yeah. you know, <laughs> a full, a full uh, baseball team will be waiting yeah, to yeah. actually carry Josh off into the sunset. Yeah. Uh, Adam <laughs> is a ferocious competitor, not to say that Josh isn't. Obviously, he, yeah. he won Big Brother USA. That is no easy feat. And he's participated on many seasons of the challenge. He's a really smart guy. He knows how to get under people's skin. Uh, I think if Josh can trash talk uh, Adam and get in his head for fight week, uh, then if Adam's confidence can be shaken, then that opens up the door for Josh. I mean, I think a lot of people are predicting uh, a very one-sided fight. Yeah, <laughs> Josh is a manipulator, and he knows how to press people's buttons. And if he can press the right buttons at the right time and pick his spot, if he's been putting in the work, then you might see what I think everyone would consider a huge upset. I just, I, I, I think there's a big bolt lock on that door. I don't think there's a, I don't think that door is getting yeah. opened. Uh, I just hope you guys have like a lane closure, like a designated lane for the ambulance to get to the hospital. Just, you know, uh, let's just hope he gets there quick. Uh, okay, we got John and Fessy, man. This 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 is an interesting one dude this is interesting it this is. to I, me this is a one, this I, is i i think that john's history as a fighter brawler in hockey you can find the videos on youtube i think he's gonna have to rely on that um you know it's as a big guy nor you know way over n north of 200 mm -hmm. um these guys in the super heavyweight division they're not gonna be floating around you know, th throwing a zillion punches. Uh, I just, I don't, big guys don't have the same gas tank as little guys. That's right. That's right. So I think you're going to see a lot of haymakers, <laughs> a lot of uh, swinging for the fences. Yep. I would not be surprised if this one doesn't last very long. But I think John's history, uh, being like in fight situations in hockey, uh, I think that gives him an edge. Uh, Fessy is in incredible shape right now, mm -hmm. um, and I think that it, the longer it goes, the more it favors him. I think if John's going to win, he's going to have to put it away early, but he's definitely capable of throwing that big punch. Yeah, I was, I, I you know, again, I've talked about these fights and stuff, and I, and I agree. I think John, John is by far definitely the better fighter. I know he's a hockey, you know, he's the fighter on his yeah. team, and and he's been in lots of fights. And that, and, and experience is something you can never, ever, ever, ever teach you can't teach experience exactly. you know that's something that you just you get it by doing something and john has way more experience than fessy uh fessy's a big boy he's gonna he's gonna hit hard uh but i think he's gonna gas i think that that's my personal opinion where john i think he has more uh like again experience he's, he knows not to gas out maybe kind of wait it out pick your pick your punches yeah. pick your spots yeah. where i think fessy's gonna come out and just start fucking throwing wild i watched his videos and and there's no technique there right it's just he's just fucking swinging those arms and they're big arms and they're gonna if they hit yep. they're gonna hurt right that's just the that's the thing <laughs> if they hit you they're gonna hurt man that's that's just the way it works but uh, I, I think like again i think john just has that the the, the technique and the experience and i think he knows fessy's game plan is just to run in he's probably just gonna swing now another thing i, I do want to say is um again these are amateur fighters and yes. you know I've, I've been involved with with this stuff for many 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 years of my life and i know one thing that happens a lot of times is these these people that once you get in that ring so you can train you can train for three four five months a year six whatever it is but once you step in that ring especially for your first time that adrenaline takes over and you're going to throw your training out the window and you're going to see a lot of that you're going to see all these nice videos the training videos people are picking the bag and they're doing these right combos and, and it looks beautiful they get in the bag they're going to throw all that out the window they're going to be just adrenaline's through the roof and they're just going to go to the middle and start fucking throwing with no technique and they're going to gas yeah. and that happens so so regularly 
um, that I'm sure we're going to see at least a few people do that. And I wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of them are puking backstage before the fight because that's very common too. You'll be interviewing them like, yo, how you feeling? They're, they got a, a garbage bag in their face, you know, just puking. But uh, it, it's, it's going to be great, man. But yeah, like I say, I think um, I think a lot of these people, are the, they're going to go in and just swing, dude. And hey, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. So I'm really looking, this is one of the fights I'm looking forward to. I think it's going to be a quick one. Uh, it could go either way. Either they're going to gas and like hug it out for a few rounds or whatever it is, yeah. or they're going to just, someone's going to sleep early. Uh, I think the uh, the Josh fight is over before it starts. I think he, I just hope Josh brings a pillow and a blanket, uh, you know, maybe a change of clothes, maybe a pair of pajamas for the hospital stay. I don't know. Uh, what else we got? Oh, Casey and, uh, and uh, Veronica. This is interesting. The main event. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be uh, the story of this one, I would say, is probably going to be Casey's athleticism versus uh, Veronica's uh, toughness. I like it. Uh, and I, I think it's, it's harder to predict than, than people might give it credit for. I think Casey is probably going to come in in better shape, uh, probably more fight ready. But does she have that killer instinct? Does she have that? Uh, ability to take punches and keep coming back for more because I think Veronica probably does. Oh yeah, uh, if I were to hazard a guess. Oh yeah, uh, uh, she you know is, is uh, <laughs> it might not have been the first time she's got punched in the face. Uh, yeah, just she, she showed me pictures. Uh, she she's play rugby right, and she's got like kicking. Exactly. She had like a gash in her face, and she's still in there playing, just getting you know playing rugby with like her face is just cut open. She didn't care. You know, but I'll tell you something about, and, and, and I agree with you on this. Actually, I, I agree with you on this. I think I think Casey's more uh, maybe athletic, or I don't know the word, uh, maybe naturally talented. I don't know the word, but I will tell you something I know about uh, Veronica is well, she lives down the road from me, right? And she trains in a in a, or she I don't know if she still trains there because you know obviously with COVID and everything. But before when we used to go down to the finales or we used to go down to the tapings and Big Brother, I would pick her up at a at a, I think it was Thai boxing or maybe it was just kick. Yeah. I think it was kickboxing, whatever it was, right? And it was down the road from my house. Literally, it's like a, a, down the road. It's like two streets over. So I would pick her up there, and then we'd drive to Toronto to go do the live tapings and all that stuff. So, uh, and this has been going on for a few years. So I know she has experience. I know she's been trained. This isn't something she just picked up because to do this. She's been training to fight for years. Yeah. But has she been in the fights? I don't know. I don't know if she's actually done the fight or if she's been training. Because there's a big difference. You can, you can train and look good all you want, but you never know how you're going to handle it until you get punched in the face. That's when you realize, okay, is it fight or flight? And, you know, that's the kind of thing. But I, she's tough, man. She is tough. Like, she and she's another like like I was gonna say with Hamza. She does not want to lose. She hates losing. She's very competitive, man. Like we've had these conversations. I've had conversations with her all the way up to Toronto. Like she hates losing, and like she would break down every competition she lost in the Big Brother house. And like, bro, you can tell, man, it still burns her. Like it burns her. She does not like to lose. So, uh, I, 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 I personally, I think Veronica has this. My, me personally, with that, I, I think that like Casey being a winner of Big Brother too. Like I think. Veronica kind of wants to, sh you know, as you're saying, like, um, you know, she remembers all those comps that she would have lost or mm -hmm. came up short in in the house. Like if she can beat a winner of Big Brother in a you know different kind of competition, the competition of boxing, then that might kind of um, like exercise the demons a little bit <laughs> from her, you know, yeah. uh, unsuccessful run on bb can so like yeah i think she's got the heart and the determination it's just if uh if she's gonna have the skill but yes you're right she has been training uh in a different kind of martial arts before a few years ago i think she even had a fight scheduled yeah but, um, it didn't go through and yeah. the other person backed out or whatever so she gets her shot but yeah everybody they can talk all they want they can make all the posts they want like you said you can put all those training videos and I'm very happy to see everyone making the legitimate effort to put in the work and everyone's taking it very, very seriously. But once you step in there, you know, the, the backstage person points at you and your music's playing and you come out and there's hundreds of people watching you in the building and thousands, you know, uh, around North America and you got to step into a 24 by 24 yeah. and uh, show what you're made out of. Uh, yeah, that's intimidating. That's uh, yeah. intimidating for anybody at any stage of your career, whether it's your first fight or your tenth fight or your whatever. Yep. Um, and uh, you know, all, all these people have got huge egos. I don't think that <laughs> uh, you know, if you're in reality TV, you've at least <laughs> you've at least got an above average ego. <laughs> uh, and so, um, yeah, and we can see 
stars made and uh, dreams broken. Uh, Crazy. That's what the beauty of sport is. And I personally cannot wait to be ringside and see how it all unfolds. Same. Uh, on August 6th. It, it honestly, man, I'm super excited for this, man. I, I'm really excited. I, I'm I'm glad that you know we can even do this, where it's I can show the weigh-ins, and hopefully we can get some uh, some eyes and interest in it too, man. Because this is uh, I love this stuff. I think this is phenomenal, man. I love this stuff. And uh, when, as soon as I, you know Adele told me we were talking, you know way back, and I was like, buddy, man, you let me know. I'm 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 whatever you need, man. That's that's, that's just so cool. It's a it's a neat neat concept, and and you know with everything going on, obviously the Logan brothers and and uh, there's there's the TikTok fighters now versus youtube fight like, like it, listen bo- to me personally boxing is getting revived and you know we have to thank the logan brothers for that because i mean you, you can ask who, who could name three fighters like who could name who has the belt right now i couldn't tell you right but but you know back in the day it was you everybody knew right so uh i think they're bringing attention to the sport and i think a lot of people are like yo this is this is the spot this is what's up man and and the fact that this is happening now it's that's super cool man i, I like it i think i'm all for it man i like it i like it and like you say, man, it's uh, you could you could tweet about it and post about it all you want. As soon as you walk into those ropes, that it doesn't matter, man. Now you got to actually speak with your hands, and, uh, and and I'll tell you, none of these guys want to lose. None of these people, guys, girls, none of them want to lose. They want to win, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome to see because that's it's the heart, man. You're gonna see their heart come out. Uh, I just I pray for Josh. That's all. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's certainly a reason why. I mean, like anything, it has its ebbs and flows and rises and falls in popularity, but. You know, there's a reason why people sort of always come back to boxing, uh, because there is just something sort of pure, the pure sport of it, of just two athletes going in there and, you know, testing their heart and their courage and their determination and their strength and their technique. You know, they call it the sweet science. Obviously, our participants are amateurs mm-hmm. you you know you're not tuning into our show to see olympic level boxing of course, of uh, course. if you are then the olympics are on and i hope that you enjoy them <laughs> but i promise you that you will get an entertaining show filled with people who have the competitive spirit and uh, are going to do their damnedest uh to 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 be a real boxer i mean no one's taking it lightly everyone knows the task at hand um you're yeah you're not going to get uh, you know, um, uh, Floyd Mayweather versus Pacquiao, <laughs> uh, but you are going to get some big, colorful, bold personalities uh, who are brave enough to step between those ropes. Because look, we put out the call to a lot of people. There's mm-hmm. a lot of people in Big Brother Canada and Big Brother USA, and we we put the call out to a lot of them. And uh, these 18 were the ones who answered that call. And uh, win, lose, or draw, I think they should all hold their heads up very high at the end of the show um because uh, a lot of people uh claim that they're a tough guy or, or claim that they're the fastest and, strongest and toughest and whatever but when it comes push comes to shove they actually won't uh they won't step up and these people stepped up so i personally i think you know i hate the everybody wins generation and here's a trophy but in this particular instance i think the fact that they're all showing up ready to do battle they have one and then you know we're just going to see who comes out uh the victor um but but the fact that they're all going to be there in arlington at the college park center on august 6th uh says to me that um they, you know they're ready to be embarrassed and they're and they're ready to be victorious and and whichever happens or anything in between no i totally agree and that's the thing like i you know like i say a lot of people talk the talk but very few are willing to walk the walk and the fact that they're all in there doing it i think that's that's amazing and and every single one of them uh you know does definitely deserves a round of applause for that and uh like I say, man, it's uh, it's easy to say you're, you could do this. Or it's easy to say you would do this or you're going to do this. Or, but they're they're talking it and they're doing it. And and I, I put I'm the kind of guy I always give credit and respect where it's due. And that's and you have to you have to because there is like you said, there's a lot of people in Big Brother Canada. There's a lot of people in Big Brother US, and they all and, you know not all of them, but you know they everyone thinks they're tough, right? People think they're tough, but you know uh, I don't see them in the ring, and that's that's awesome, man. So yeah, big 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 shout out to them uh, for doing this and. Man, like hopefully, man, you know, this is something that could move on forward and, and uh, you know, more things in the future because I think I think there's I think there's something to be had here, man. I think there's a there's there's something here. There's a product here. I think there's interest here. I think it's it's something that, you know, um, could could continue and go on uh, further. You know, I sincerely hope so. I yeah. think, you know, there's like I said, there's something raw and pure about boxing. 
everyone loves to see what's going to happen when pe- two people step in and punch each other in the face. <laughs> uh, so you're going to get a lot of face punching on this show. I am sure of it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I really hope that we can kind of capture lightning in a bottle here and uh, keep keep the show going. Um, but it's it's going to be very entertaining. I hope that everyone tunes in on the uh, Fight TV app uh, to watch um, on August 6th. And hey, if uh, you want to fly or you're local in Texas or in that area, uh, we'd be more than happy to have you come in. There are still some floor seats available, but they are definitely going fast. And uh, I think it's going to be a very memorable event from start <laughs> to finish. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I know. Actually, I know there's a few people in my stream for sure that are showing up to that. Uh, absolutely, I know a bunch of us are, are picking it up. Um, you know, we're gonna buy it for sure. And yeah, there's people that are in the stream right now that that I know will be there. We've talked about it, and they're they're actually gonna be at the watching it live, Amazing. which is pretty yeah. cool. So That's yeah, right. man, we've we've been talking about it. I, I'm I'm excited for it. We definitely broke down all the fights. Uh, I you know what? Pretty much uh, every fighter you said. I think the stream called it the same, except for the Godfrey one. I think my stream said Godfrey was going to win over Enzo. Uh, it's, Jose- a toss up. it's a toss-up. Like, yeah. a lot of toss-ups, to be honest. I, I really think that, you know, yeah. anything can happen in sport, right? So, I mean... Exactly. Ex- well, that's so the thing. And, 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 and in... In fighting, you know, in fighting, in gen- it's it's one hit can end it. You could be dominating a fight, and and you just get connected the right way or the wrong way, whichever we want to look at it. One time, it's over, it, and it happens so often. So it's 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 a it's a fight. That's what that's what the fighting game is about. And uh, yeah, I mean, someone could be the heavy favorite. They just get clipped once in the in the right spot, and and it's done. That's just the that's the beauty of the game, and that's uh, that's what's so nice about it. But yeah, I I think we're all in agree. I mean. Bro, I think everyone pretty much uh, that's what we agreed with the same as you said there all the people you picked is basically who we picked the same side pretty much but yeah the Godfrey Enzo one is the most interesting to me Godfrey is a very good friend of mine I love the guy he's my brother man he's a yeah he's he's literally one of my closest buddies and I love Enzo too he's one of my buddies too we're, we're all you know so that's a tough one for me to call but uh, I, you know I just I, I you know I try to keep it uh, there's no favoritism here. I'm just I, I see it as what it is. It's two fighters going in the rings, not two of my friends. And uh, I, I, you know, the age versus you know, there's the age thing, and then there's the skill, and the, and, and you know, it's it's tough. I I I, 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 I hate to say it. I think Enzo might squeeze it out, man. I don't know. I don't know. You never, there's now, only one way to find out. You got to tune in live. On there it is. For view of your fight TV. There it is. I'm going to walk you through the whole show. It's going to be great. I promise not to be annoying. Nah, you got this, buddy. I know you're going to kill it, man. You know what you're doing. You're good at what you do, man. You're good at what you do. But yeah, they're going to, yeah, we got a bunch of people in here picking it up and everything. And uh, I'm super excited, man. I'm super excited, cool. dude. Uh, how, how many rounds is it? Uh, so every bout is three rounds, two minutes a piece uh, with a one minute break in between. So basically we're using the same athletic commission as the Olympics, which is why I referenced the Olympics earlier. Got it. The same governing body that does the Olympics is doing this show. If you can, uh, put that together in your mind, uh, <laughs> that's wild. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, but, uh, yeah, so because it's an amateur card, we're only allowed to do like, you know, a certain lengths of things. Yep. And so the maximum allowable length was, three rounds two minutes a piece one minute in between um so yeah it's basically a best of three for everybody um wow. it, it's all professionally judged there'll be professional ref like it's all like completely on the up and up it's all completely legitimate this is a real fight we they are we had to register everyone as a real boxer a real amateur boxer like everyone had to pass full medicals um like this is like just as though it was any other cart like it you know it could have been 18 other rookie fighters uh you know uh, just because they're uh on tv Mm -hmm. doesn't mean anything we had to go through all the same hoops register in them all the same ways everyone had to pass all the same medicals uh they'll be judged in a by professionals to a professional standard the referees will all be provided by the commission so like it's as as real as real gets we are putting the real in reality tv uh, that's amazing and the headgear is uh headgear and how big are the gloves uh so i think uh it's the heavy the 16 ounce i want to say uh it's the th- the thickest gloves and they have to wear headgear same as the olympics yeah um uh 
uh, but uh, they're giving us a little bit of leeway with like, because normally in the Olympics is like one person wears all red, one person wears all blue, red corner, blue yep. corner, right? Yep, yep. But our show is more of a spectacle, obviously. So they're giving, they're very graciously giving us some flexibility. People can be creative and express themselves with their gear. Cool. But uh, yes, they do have to wear all the same equipment that you would see in an Olympic boat. Absolutely wild. I love it, man. I love it. I, I love it. I, I'm, I'm here for it, man. That's dope. I, I can't wait to see it. So we're here at August 6th. So August 5th is going to be the weigh-ins here on the stream. Uh, August 6th is the fight. Uh, I will definitely be watching it. Um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. I, I, I can't wait, man. Dude, I can't wait. So you're doing the ring, you're the ring announcer, right? I am the ring announcer, and I will be doing the post-fight interviews. Adele uh, from season two of Canada and Ryan from season six of Canada are your commentators. Uh, Natalie Negrotti will be the backstage interviewer. Um, our ring girls are Julie and uh, Spicy V from season nine and Jessica from uh, USA 21. Um, Cliff Hogg, uh, also from USA 21, will be there as kind of the... Uh, the ring girls uh, help her and get them in and out of the ring and uh, help them up the steps and all that stuff. Just a, a gentlemanly Texan, if you will. He's a good man. Um, He's a good man. That's your ringside crew uh, to, to keep you covered from top to bottom. That's awesome. That's a good crew. Yeah, very good crew. That's yeah. a good crew. I, I, I know you're going to kill it, my friend. Thanks, buddy. I know you're going to kill it. All right, brother, man. Thank you for chatting and stuff, man. That was dope. And then and thank you for the test run. I think we're good. I think we have all the audio, visual things. Uh, the only thing I would say for the rest of it is, um, will we be able to, are you going to be close enough that we'll be able to hear the audio if they're talking to each other? Yeah, yeah. The room, I believe they will be mic'd, but uh, the room's not going to be so big that you won't be able to hear them. So, yeah, it, uh, I... I uh, I, I can't see that being an issue. I'm pretty sure that they will have microphones, but okay. um, if they don't, I will make sure that my camera is as close as it needs to be. You got it, my friend. I'm really excited, dude. You're amazing. Yeah, buddy. Thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Yeah, yeah anytime. We'll definitely ch- I'll, I'll hit you up tomorrow. All right. And cool. uh, the, stream, the stream says hi, Peter. They say hi, and, uh, and they love you, buddy. All right. Hi and bye. I love you guys, too, and I hope you enjoy the show. You got it. Later, buddy. Thanks again. Right. Later. Take care.